It is said to be one of the most uniting factors amongst people in the world, most times used to identify clans, tribes, cliques, and people of the same ideology. Street dance is inarguably a perfect tool for communication and connection. A lot of people have questions on how street dances come about and why they are easily generally accepted, so we decided to help answer these questions. My name is Njoku Simpia Neka, aka Neki, the body confidence chick. I've been dancing for, mm, let me say I've been dancing for 10 years, but professionally I've been dancing for three. My name is Abinan Jackson, you can call me Jackson, I'm a dancer, creative director, and I've been doing this for seven years now. Street dance, like the name street dance, is um, these are dances that are gotten from the streets, gotten from what when, when people are just like having fun, a sci fi gathering. Sci fi is like when people come to freestyle, uh, these are dances that like come out from that circle, basically. That's the name street dance, yes, dance done in the street. Basically. For me, um, street dance, like I say, street dance. So it's a, it's a room where anyone can just wake up on money and just create anything. Just feel like dancing and you feel like giving it a name. It's a freedom of, it's a freedom of creation when it comes to dance for me. So you don't, you, don't, you don't really need to be a dancer to create a street dance. You can be in your house, you can create, you can be anywhere in the office, create as a group of colleagues and just create a dance. Then we dancers, it's meant for us to just pick it up and say, oh, we love this dance and let's put some sauce into it. Then at that point, it becomes dance for us. Everything at first is just, is just empty. It is meant for a dancer to put life into it. And you know how it is. Then the celebrity picks it up and that is it, it starts to end I, I feel it's safe to sell our street dance because it shows what happens in our community, what happens in our society, what happens in a place like Oshodi, what happens in Mushi, that kind of thing. So uh, it's good that most of our dances are gaining um, recognition. You see Zanku, like I, I, I went to Ghana um, last week and when we went to the club, you could see people jamming to um, dancing the Zanku, Shaku Shaku, and I, I cannot start shouting, oh, that's my dance, you know? But it, it's now like, it's just like language. It's now um, everywhere. It's, it's something that unites us, it binds us together, just like football too, you know? Let's take it from back, like way, way back. Let's talk about Galala. Kudos to Daddy Shoki, you know? So I'm not saying Daddy Shoki created it, but I'm saying the guys that dance with Daddy Shoki created it. And then we, as a dance lover, when we watch videos like videos from Daddy Shoki, we, we, we are not just looking at Daddy Shoki, we're looking at the dancers at his back. Or like, oh, see what see that guy they do. So we realize that, okay, in a jigule, where the dance was created, it is called Galala. The first time I saw Zanku was, um, I saw it on social media, where this guy, what's his name, Zlantan. So for me, I feel, when I ask people, ah, is this Zlantan that, that created the Zanku step? And people are like, yes, Zlantan that created Okay, good. Kudos to Zlantan. Right now, we have social media, yeah. You just need to just go there and just start posting anything that, that stays, you know. Um, let me use a very quick um, quick example of this guy, Pokoli. Okay, I won't say he's a dancer. No, I will, I will never say he's a dancer. I'm just saying he's a dance lover. He just loves doing what he has to do. And for the fact that this, this dance had to end because people started taking record of him, 
dancing. From there, we started seeing little clips of him on Instagram, not even the dude posting. Other people are just posting, ah, guys, see this, see this guy, I love the way he's dancing. And that was how the trends, you know? The first time I saw and heard Shoki was um, when Lil Kesh sang the Shoki song and there was a dance style attached to it and like it was crazy. So that was my first time or my first encounter with Shoki. But trust street dancers now, they will bring out their own variation from hanging it here to wanting to like do different things with it. But that's what street dance is really. There's, like, there is no rule, there is no law. It's about people trying to add different vibe to what it is, you understand? So it's not something that is strict. It's it, you can bend it. That's the beauty of street dance. So I think that is the thing about Shoki. Then Paku Jemu too, if, if you remember I said earlier, Paku Jemu is like an extract from uh, Shaku Shaku. Shaku Shaku is also a street dance style. But Imax, Daniel from West Side Lifestyle felt that, oh, you know what? I, I think I could just carry my leg and just do this. And ah, this dance, oh, I mean, it's sweet, oh. like, it makes sense. I mean, they feel, they feel me, you know, that kind of thing. So, and he saw it and everybody was like, oh, nice, 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 nice. And he called it Paku Jemu. And before you know it, they posted it on social media. And everybody's like, oh my God, makes sense. You want to dance? Like it, it has a vibe on its own, and you know that's one thing about street dance. There's this life inside. Then we're talking about Shaku Shaku. Shaku Shaku. For me, the first time I saw Shaku Shaku was in the club where dancers meet. You know what? We talk about cipher. That is, I think cipher is where we start realizing or seeing the new dance styles, especially the street. The street, the Nigerian street dance, where we just come together from different places and we just come together, play music, and we just start dancing. They will start realizing different kind of dance. Oh, I've never seen this one. They're like, ah, I ain't the for a gigi. This one, I ain't the for Oshudi. Yeah, this one, they're from there, we just start learning them, and that is it. It keeps going. And that was where I saw Shaku Shaku. And the first name there was uh, Bira because of the song, Aja Wan, Bira. That's why I see people acting like they want to run away. So that's the whole idea of Shaku Shaku. I'm running away. So I'm running away. So Aja Wan, Bira, Aja Two, Bira. But right now, I think because of uh, Olamide, they decided to call it Shaku Shaku. Now, the Bira name for the real dance, the original name, Bira has been dropped out, like I've been left, I've been thrown away. Now we, we all Nigerians now, because of celebrity in quotes, now listening to Olamide, the Shaku Shaku master. So now you can clearly understand why street dance in Nigeria will keep growing and is here to stay in our society. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.